Hey guys, thought I'd give you all a little bit of an update on my healing after the fast. Everything it could have done, it's done, basically. But since breaking the fast, I had some lab results back from some blood tests we had done back in February. And it came back as positive for a blood parasite called Babesia or Babesiosis, which comes from a tick bite. It's like a co-infection many people get with Lyme. But my Lyme comes back as negative, but I do have Babesia. Now Babesia lives inside your red blood cell and it's because it's a blood parasite, it's like malaria in a way. And one of the main symptoms of Babesia is leg pain. Now a few days after my fast, certainly not as severe, my leg pain started to creep back in. And that's because my parasitic load went down in the fast, but now I'm eating, it's feeding the parasite and it's starting to gain its strength again as well. So I'll be turning to uh, plant medicines because otherwise they'll want me to go on to anti-malarials for up to six months. I'm at the tropical disease place tomorrow, but I'm going to turn to Mother Nature. I'm going to turn to the, the herbal remedies that are tried and tested on the planet and that make up probably 25 to 50 percent of modern pharmaceuticals anywhere. So I'm going to seek intuitively with spirit and seek out the right herbalist and also the right information and God is already doing that immediately, synchronistically. I'm, I'm being led towards that which I need to do. So probably the thing that rocked the whole foundation of all my health problems is this parasite, this Babesia. So on we go. It damages mitochondria, it damages your pancreas and my uh, pancreas is showing as not working great and my mitochondria have already been shown to not be doing well at producing ATP so we have our culprit anyway. So on I go but the fast has healed me of all the other issues, my fatigue's not so bad but the pain in my legs is stopping me from doing what I need to do so naturally I'm a little bit down so I'll stay on as healthy a diet as I can and push forward and let these wonderful trees from all over the world, predominantly uh, the Amazon, which is where most of the plants come from and herbs come from that I'll be using, uh, do their work and do the healing that I need from them. So. Okay, God bless guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe as it really helps us to grow the channel and with it help more children here in Tanzania. Also, don't forget you can support our work by sharing with children in crisis here. Be it sharing for a particular need or even sharing one-on-one -on -one support for education, housing, food and medical care. It can be done for as little as the cost of a cup of coffee a week back in the West after all. Just visit www.sharetanzania.co.uk to find out more. Lastly, remember you can also support us via Patreon www.patreon.com forward slash feathers tail and help keep us here in Tanzania to continue our work. The links for the website and for the Patreon are in the description box of this video. Love and light guys, see you soon.